Yo guys, what's up, man? Uh, someone, someone gave me a request. Uh, he wanted to. I think if I'm gonna, I don't know if this is right or not. He wanted to make. He wanted me to make a video on a carry weapon video. Like destroy. Uh, you know, what guns has uh, better than other guns for carrying? I'm really. I really didn't prepare much for it, so forgive my. Uh, the way I'm saying things, I might not use the right terminology. Okay, now th these are my carry weapons right here. By the way, before I even start this, uh, the AK-47. I'm gonna give you a little update. It's in my basement right now. It's drying. Uh, I put a nice darker cherry stain on it, and it has that old-time Russian AK look to it. Where do you see it? It's gonna look really good. I sanded it down with uh, steel wool, and I. I put one coat of a, like a cherry stain, it's not real cherry, it's kind of like an M1 stock, like, but not quite that dark. It has a World War II look to it now, I'm real excited about it. It should be dry in a few hours, so that's what's going on with the AK. Now as far as carrying weapons, uh, as far as my carry guns go, the only ones I carry are these four. Uh, sometimes I carry the 229 because I have a really nice holster for it and it, it don't bother me too much but most of the time it's these um, well I gotta let's start with the let's start with the SIG P239 okay as far as carry guns go this is the newest one to my uh, collection and uh, the hell and uh, I love it um, it has a little weight to it but you don't notice it because it's it's slim and it holds close to your body. See, you really don't notice the weight uh, too much with this pistol. It, it holds seven rounds plus one, so you can carry eight rounds of ammunition. Uh, it's a 40 caliber. I know it's not a lot of firepower, but you know the rule of thumb is: Do you really need more than six? I don't know. I ain't that paranoid, you know. I'm not that fucking paranoid. I'm gonna walk around, you know. I have to walk around with 20 rounds of ammunition on me. If you can't get yourself out of trouble with six rounds, fucking run. But this this is uh, very comfortable. If you're thinking about a 239, uh, this is a good good pistol to get. You know, they're expensive. They're like 700 bucks. So depending on where you live, in, in California, they're probably more. California, they don't want you to buy guns. So everything's real expensive. You know what I'm talking about? Fucking son of a bitches. But the fucking criminals, they can have whatever the fuck they want. Don't even get me started with that. Uh, so the only issue with the P30, P239 is uh, it has a little weight to it, but that's not an issue for me. Okay? Now this one, this is you're going up a caliber. This is a 45. You got more knockdown power. But you have uh, the same around, the same amount of ammunition. This is a 45 camber CDP. It's got a uh, uh, aluminum frame, so it's it's lighter than the than the Sig. Uh, is it more comfortable? Yup. When I carry this gun, I, I don't even know it's on me. Like I told you before, it feels like a fucking cell phone. It really does. Uh, but I have a good holster though. Chanderson one sent me in the mail. A beautiful leather holster for this thing and when I put it on uh, right now the most comfortable gun to carry out of all these is this Kimber CDP 1911 but you know I carried for a test to see how it was but I don't want to carry it yet because it's not broken in yet okay uh, hmm. I don't I don't I don't go cocked and locked I'm just nervous about that thing being back like that uh, can you lower? Can you put one in the chamber and lower it down on the round? Uh, I do it, but I don't recommend you do it because that is very unsafe. You know, you, it could slip off your thumb. But I'm, I'm going to tell you that I do do it. I'm very careful. I lower it down and I carry one in the chamber. Uh, will I carry cocked and locked? Nah, but something can knock that thumb safety down. You never know. And uh, then you, you, something bad can happen. So if I carry one in the chamber, I do it with a lowered hammer. Okay, so most comfortable gun so far to carry is this one. Uh, now you got the Glock 30. This gun is very comfortable carrying. Uh, it's a little thick. It's blocky, 
but it has uh, 10 rounds of 45 ACP. That's a tremendous amount of firepower for a subcompact pistol. Okay. Uh, I, ca I carry this a lot. The reason why is I don't care if this gets scratched or knocked around as much as I do with this one. You know, you, you go from 600 to 1300. So, you know, I won't carry that a lot. You know what I mean? Uh, if I'm dressed in a suit or in nice clothes, I'll carry this one. If I'm just in some, you know, rough clothes, jeans and all, or working, I'll carry the Glock. It's tough, it's reliable, it's proven itself. They are excellent, excellent firearms. They're, they're great. Okay, that's the Glock 45. You get 10 rounds of firepower plus one. That's a lot. Uh, it's not heavy. Uh, it's like I said, it's a little bulky. You can feel it, but it's not too bad. And I said, like I said, it depends on the holster too. If you get yourself one of them Scorpion holsters, the plastic ones, to me they're the best. In the waistband, they hold the gun so firm and close to your body, it, it don't move. You know, so they're the best. But I can't find one for this one. I have a soft one for it. It's all right, but I like the uh, Scorpions better from uh, DeSantis. Now my other ca carry weapon is a Springfield Armory XD subcompact, and this holds 13 rounds. No, 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 no. Sorry about that. No, it don't. holds nine, I think. This has uh, there's uh, okay. Yeah, this holds nine plus one, so it holds ten, and uh, it's not loaded. Um, it holds 10, 10 rounds of forty. Cal and it's it's light like the Glock. The Glock might be a little lighter. And you can't even notice the difference. And uh, this is this is smaller than the Glock. Like it's just shorter. See how much shorter it is? Like an inch and a half shorter. So this is this is extremely comfortable to carry. The Springfield XD subcompact. It really is. This gun's awesome. You know, every I sh every time I show this gun, I tell you this. This is fucking. This is. You will be so happy with this if you just buy it. You're talking about $600 and it comes with all kinds of shit and it's guaranteed for life. Springfield guarantees their firearms for life. Okay, it's got all kinds of safety features on it. I have, there's a video on it, check it out. But this is a great carrying weapon. The Springfield XD Subcompact. So, let's narrow it down. What's my favorite one for me to carry? Well, most comfortable the Compact 1911. The most firepower, the Glock 30 SF. Okay? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I have to say, uh, the SIG P239 might lose when it comes to firepower and weight, but SIGs, I, they're just so damn good, the quality. I just I feel I feel like I can just rely on them so much. You know what I mean? It's like it's almost re reliable as a revolver. You know, same with a Glock. And so, you know this has proven itself yet, but I'm this is I never had no problems with it. I'm just saying the Sig. I like Sigs because the, the, they're they're overkill in quality. That that's why I like Sigs. And I want to I want to be have a uh, a carrying pistol that's a Sig, and this is the one. Um, if I had to pick all of them. For comfort, I would go with this one. If I would pick out all of them for firepower, I would have to go with the Glock 30 SF. Okay, so I don't know. It depends what fucking mood I'm in. Like tomorrow, I'm going to be in a bad neighborhood, and I'm probably going to carry. Uh, well, I'm not going to carry the Glock because I put that new recoil spring in. I haven't fired it yet. It might, you know, fuck it up. So I'm going to go. I'm going in a bad neighborhood tomorrow. So I might carry uh, the Springfield XD, which I know it's awesome. Or the P239. I won't carry this because I'm working. I don't want to fuck it up. So I hope this video was cool, you know. And I uh, hope I hope you like it. Uh, sorry about the can of raid in the background, but let me tell you something. Look at this. See, when you live in a row home, you have to have a can of raid because when you live in a row home, you can have a real scumbag living next to you, and all those little fucking bugs run over to here. That's what sucks about row home. If you have a row home, trust me, you got can of raid. I don't care how clean you are. There you go. Uh, AK-47. I don't know. I might, it might, I might get to it later. If it's done, I'll show you guys. If not, definitely tomorrow.